Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining our webinar today. My name is Anna Jode from Sheffield Steel Systems, and I kindly request you, I know you've been to plenty of webinars, if you can kindly ensure your mic and video is on mute so that we don't have any interruptions as we proceed to the session. So today we're going to be talking about smart cooking with a rational oven. This is our first webinar with Rational and Sheffield, and we're quite excited about it to learn more about smart cooking. To start us off, I'd like to uh, talk about Sheffield and our partnership with Rational. So Sheffield was founded in 2003 in Nairobi, Kenya by Mr. Suresh Kanocha. We've been in the industry for 18 years and counting, and we've expanded over the years to become East Africa's leading solution provider in the food service industry. So besides Nairobi, Kenya, we have presence in Rwanda, Tanzania, and Uganda. We've done project executions all across Africa, and we pride ourselves in offering solutions for the African content from Ethiopia, Burundi, South Sudan, Nigeria, Congo, Somalia, you name it, and we can venture into a new territory within Africa. Our experience started in commercial kitchen solutions, and naturally we ventured into laundry solutions as well. And now we have a cold room manufacturing plant where we are able to customize cold room panels. And we also have offer healthcare industry solutions and as our name states, Sheffield Steel Systems Limited, we offer customized stainless steel fabrication as well. So now to talk about our partnership with Rational. We have many global partners and Rational is among them. We have partnered with Rational and we're the main distributor in East Africa. And this relationship has spanned for over a decade since 2011. This partnership has grown. We've installed over 300 units, which we'll be able to show you in different locations and uh, market segments. And we, uh, we are still counting as we keep on installing new units every year. We have a training academy as well, where we've installed a rational demo unit, where we train rational clients, users, chefs on the operations and technology of the rational oven. So next time we can invite you at the academy to get a hands-on experience of the rational unit and smart cooking solution. So I'll, I'll venture into Rational. Rational is a German manufacturer of combi steamers and they have over 48 years experience in the industry. Their, their technology focuses on making the chef's uh, appliances very tech friendly and advanced. And this is what they fo focus on ensuring that they provide solutions for professional kitchens, a market leader indeed from Germany. So today our session is about smart cooking with a rational oven and Chef Lamek and Chef Sharon and our in-house chefs will be doing a um, role play where we'll have traditional cooking ways and how rational as a smart cooking solution can make the kitchen more efficient and provide solutions for the chefs and the different industries. So I'll introduce Chef Lamek, who's a rational regional chef in East Africa since 2018. His culinary journey started in 2008 with over 10 years working experience. And his passion is in offering smart, efficient and consistent solutions with a rational unit in the industry. Chef Sharon, our in-house chef at Sheffield Steel Systems, is a graduate of the Kenya Utali College. I'm sure most of you who've logged in have also, are also from the Utali College and you can relate to that. He has a diploma in hotel management and is an executive chef with over eight years work experience in the industry. Sharon's expertise is in refresher training using the rational unit, training chefs and other industry players and is able to come to site to train you on your rational unit as well. He's a rational brand ambassador through sales and training of, of chefs in the East African region. So I'll pass on the session to Chef Sharon and Chef Lamek, and they'll venture into the challenges that they face in a traditional setup and the solutions that rush, the rational oven can offer as a smart cooking solution. So Chef Lamek, Chef Sharon, welcome. Over to you. Thank you, Anne. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. 
My name is Asharon Odam. I'm the Rational Sales and Brand Chef East Africa. And today I'm going to show you what to use in our traditional kitchen. I'll talk more of a traditional way of cooking. As many of you know, I'm from the traditional way of cooking in the kitchen. I was an F&B before I joined uh, Rational. And I'll just want to explain to you with my colleague here how the traditional kitchen looks like. In a traditional kitchen, you get you got your four or six burner cookers, you've got your high pressure burner cookers, I've got my char grill at the corner, I've got my humongous double deck oven for my bakery, I've got my 20 liters double well fryer. At times, I get my salamander also over here for protonating my product and a microwave in this. For mass production, I got my bread pan and boiling pan for doing my steaming and boiling of vegetables at time. And this was what I used to have in my kitchen by then. So I used to work in this kitchen with all these pieces of equipment. And my challenges were very, very much in terms of uh, delivery, the consistency of my product. And chef, I would just want to concur with me the during breakfast item, like the croissant, the bake off of Danish pastry for the breakfast was a very challenging. With my double neck oven, it took 45 minutes to put it. My team would come into the kitchen at graveyard shift. My chef start making the dough for the pastry products. They wait for the oven to preheat, then start baking. For the bake off, my croissant or Danish or whichever bread they used to bake could come in different colors. I get my brown bread, nicely golden brown, nice. I got my dark, which almost burnt, and some light. And by the time I was arranging my buffet for my team of around 30 people, it was a hectic for me. So we could take some throwing the dustbin because we don't want to sell to the clients. Some that are a bit light again. You can't put them because the client to see, oh, this is not well cooked. And you know, our customer is this region. And also to my audience, I know Chef also knows all this. And I would like my colleague Lame, to also give us an insight if Rational can help us solve this situation. Thank you very much, uh, Chef Sharon. Indeed, I have had and have also understood the bit of challenges you're facing uh, during your previous tenure as an F&B manager. And I'd like also to conquer on the same challenges. Uh, as I've mentioned previously, that I'm a chef by profession also. And these were also some of the similar challenges that I also faced in my industry. Now, with regards to baking chef, uh, baking requires a lot of precision. And by precision, I mean from temperature setting, airflow, and also humidity control. So these are the three settings that would require precision most of the time. So, and as you have mentioned, I presume that you are working with a convection oven where the airflow was not evenly distributed. So this was a big challenge for you, Chef. But I have a solution for you today, Chef. Solution that provides consistency of the product and also uniformity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you all to the Rational Solution. And our first assistant for today is my climate manager.
Wow. Chef, I believe you've been able to see how my rational assistant, the climate manager, has been able to solve your challenge of consistency of products. Likewise, not only cross-sell, but also products, for example, like chicken. You have been able to see on the video also breaded chicken. It doesn't matter whether you're cooking in bulk or also in small portion, you are able to achieve the same consistency and quality all the time. I believe, Chef, there is more to come from your side as an F&B manager among the challenges that you are facing. Well, that's good, Chef. Uh, I think uh, one of my challenges is sorted now for baking, but I used to have other more challenges in my kitchen. And they used to have so much complaints from my chef, my staff, and all. I would just want to give you a scenario, other challenges that I used to face. I've just talked of humongous, big, double-deck oven. You see the space that I need for my broilers, for my bread pan, to my char grill, to my double L fryer, 20 liters. And this, you can see I need a big space for my kitchen to work. That is one of the challenges I used to have. Second also, you see, in my kitchen, we used to have functions. We have a wedding or a pre-wedding meeting. We have a walk-in client also for the a la carte. And also during the lunch, because we have in-house guests, find out that it was very hectic. A client could ask for well done or medium, and this food could not come out nicely. My food timing was a very, very, Embarrassing, it would take almost more than 30 or 40 minutes. And you find out that the customer complaint about timing is very, very common in the kitchen. Energy, look at my humongous oven, the convection. Oh my God, it used to heat up 45 minutes without baking. You find out that I'm losing a lot of my energy. At the end of it all, when I'm doing my costing, you find out that my energy cost is. Okay, at the same time, I did have a nice, crispy, and succulent brown on my food product, which is also a big challenge to me. So I would like to see if you can help me reduce my food cost in terms of in terms of energy, in terms of oil or products that I'm using, because you find out that at times my teeth throw things in the dustbin. And there's one thing I'll say to you. Killer kid to kill my honey. My kitchen is confused. Everything, everywhere. So can I have a solution for this chef? Yes, Chef Sharon. Thank you very much. I've also heard and also understood the bit of challenges you faced as well. Previously, we spoke only about Koso. Right now, you have spoken about space, time, quality, and consistency. Just to also introduce to our audience as well, not only does Rational do baking, but also we do roasting, grilling, frying, stewing, and steaming as well. Now, let us all have a look at Chef Sharon's kitchen previously. As you can see on the left-hand side, you were using more conventional technology, Chef, right? You have explained that you had burners, you had grill, you had griddle, right, Chef? And you also had a fryer. Now, amazingly, Chef, imagine now I am able to solve the space situation for you, Chef, with an, with, with an equipment that does 80% of cooking, the rational oven. And with this, now I am having to do multiple cookings altogether, Chef. I'm able to do my grilled items. For example, burger, chicken, ukwali, Chef, Sidio. Oh, I'm impressed. And I'm also able to do my pizza. You know very well, Chef, on Tuesday you love pizza, right? Now imagine being able to do pizza and burger at the same time. Now I'd like all of us to have a view at my next assistant, my rational assistant, the planning manager.
Wow, kweli nimeamini. Kweli nimeamini chef. Now, let us all have a glance at my production assistant, my planning manager, and we can all be able to conquer that. I have been able to sort out Chef Sharon's challenges. No checking or monitoring, Chef. Now you can be able to utilize the equipment efficiently, Chef. Now your cost of energy is able to reduce, Chef, right? I believe in your previous work, Chef, as an F&B manager. I had a rumor you were called a Maasai Chef. Now you can be more than a Maasai with a rational chef. We have also gone through your a la carte session, chef. With my experience, after I have done a la carte session, comes the cleaning part, chef. Cleaning used to cringe a lot for me, chef. I used to dread when it came to cleaning hours because they were taking a lot of time. And also the products as well, the detergents which were being used were also misused by my students. Chef, was this the same for you as well? Well, it's, 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 it's common sense. Cleaning is a very hectic part. My team could also break down the only oven in the kitchen during the cleaning process. I could give them a detergent of five liters in the morning. But remember, this person will use it the way he wants. If she's in a good mood or is in a good mood, he'll use it for two, three days. If he or she is in a bad mood one day, so that makes my cost for it charge to The other way is wastage of water. You find out that our boiling pan used to be the heating for the kitchen. So you find out that we could use a lot of water. Our boiling pots also using for the water to clean the kitchen. So it was very hectic for me. My breakdown of the equipment with my phone with my team, and also the usage of excessive detergent and also water. And nevertheless, at times of those privilege of people are falling down. So accidents in the kitchen is to happen. I don't know whether you have a solution for this. Yes, Chef. You know how we would do it the Kenyan way? We would say Cheza Kama Wewe, right, Chef? So today, na Cheza Kama Mimi. Now, in order for me to Cheza Kama Mimi, I have a solution for you, Chef. Imagine, Chef, you are not in the kitchen and someone is taking care of the thing. How cool is that, Chef? More happy and my suit now just no monitoring or checking. You come in the morning, chef. You found everything is clean. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to my cleaning manager. And like I say, Cheza Kamawewe, right? Kenyan way. And chef, now I'm able to sort out this pain in your back. The pain of where you have to be there to monitor things happening. Now, my rational cleaning manager has been able to take care of that. Chef. I believe, chef, that I've been able to address the challenges that you have mentioned as we began the webinar today. Chef. Yeah, uh, from my audience, I think as chefs, you've been going through all this. But I would like to pose a question to you, Lame. By any chance, my rationale breaks down. Who sorts it out? Thank you very much. As you have seen, with my rationale, we are very much efficient. And with this regard, we are having our exclusive partners here in Kenya, Sheffield Steel Systems. Our, in Sheffield, we have trained the technicians there. So in case we have a unit breakdown, our in-house technicians are able to also come and fix the unit within a minimal amount of time. Likewise, we also have spare parts available. In case one unit breaks down and it requires spare, we have spares available. 
and also to mention Father Chef. I'd like to show you where we have managed to install our units. We have mentioned that we have 300 when we began the webinar. I would like to show you where we have installed the units and also we'll speak about the various sizes we have available. As you can see, there is our beautiful uh, rational excess. That's a small unit. We have managed to install it at Honorable Residence in Kericho. And you can see here, this is a school chef, St. Andrews. I mean, Kenyans are all advanced with the St. Andrews uh, school in Molo. We have on the left side, that is a six tray unit. And on the right hand side, that is a 20 ton unit chef. Yes, uh, for those who normally frequently visit Java, Java also have our smaller unit, our baby. And with this unit, it does a lot of cooking chef, I can assure you. Wow, look at that chef. There we have, that is a, a, it's an institution as well, the Kenya College as well, you can see it. We are having the six pan units, chef. They are doing tremendous work at the college, chef. Uh, just to ask. And also we are having here a hospital, chef. You can ask. Uh, I was just uh, inquiring which size fits me because I've seen big, small, for somebody who has like a 30 or 60 or 10 bed capacity, which size do you recommend of have different sizes? Uh, what we normally do, Chef, as a rational team, we visit the client, we understand the challenge that you have, and we invite you also to a lab demonstration so you can see how we can solve your problem live, Chef. And after that, we will advise you on what you would require with our profession as well, Chef. Okay, thank you. So like I was saying, Chef, here you can see Art Cafe. And there also is our baby, also at Art Cafe. So in case you manage to visit any, this uh, Chester House uh, Art Cafe, you'll be able to see the rational unit. Good. Uh, I think I managed to give me solution to my challenges. To our audience, I hope you also have challenges that you want to talk across. You can show us, you raise your hand, send your question on an SMS. Also, Anne will handle that. For me, my solutions have been, my challenges have been uh, getting rid of. So, Chef, if you can help me or the audience, it's better. So, Chef, you're trying to tell me right now you have been baptized? I'm now a pastor. Really, Chef? Yeah, I'm a pastor of Russia now. Umecheza kama wewe? Umecheza kama wewe, mimi. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, over to you, Anne. Thank you, Chef Lamek and Chef Sharon. That was an insightful session. We've seen the challenges that we've faced in the traditional setup and the smart cooking solutions that the rational oven can offer. So I've requested all of you to unmute. We can have a live Q&A session and you can also similarly drop us a chat. We'll be able to respond. Chef Lamek, Chef Sharon, are you online? Yes, um, we are online. Great. I'm ready for the question. So there's one question here. How will we able to test our food with the rational unit? Yes, uh, and I've answered that and I've said that it depends on the COVID protocols. Uh, and also we are able to test through Sheffield. So we'll advise based on the government uh, protocol uh, guidelines, but it is conducted here at Sheffield Steel System in our rational academy. Great, thank you. Any further questions from the team, you can just drop us a chat. I'll also be sharing our direct contacts and we can further engage on the topic. How about Kenyan uh, food? Okay. I'm able to see the question. Okay, great. Uh, yes, no, normally we cook skumawiki as well. So we'll advise on the dates and also, like I've said, 
depending on the COVID protocols. So we'll advise on the dates where we'll have our rational event. Yeah, uh, just from the SMS, I can see, and also see how long the payback of the unit. Correct, uh, during our demonstration and the full test over here, I will take you through an ROI calculation so that you know how long the unit will cost you to pay back yourself, and that's what you do here at Sheffield. You are able to test, yes, Kenyan food and any continental food that you want to try. We also have our own canteen over here that we use the rational, uh, the rational oven to do the cooking, so the feel and the touch of our Kenyan and Indian cuisine is always there for the test. Over to you, Anne. Okay, thank you, Chef Sharon and Chef Lamek. Uh, thank you for the great interactive session we've had on smart cooking with a rational oven. And thank you to all our attendants. Thank you for joining the webinar. We've had a great session. I've shared our contacts on the chat section and we can be able to engage further on the same. And you can also just view our contacts here and be able to contact us as well. Thank you. So to wind up the session, thank you. And we'll be able to reconnect further. Thank you, Chef Sharon, Chef Lamek. Asanteni. Asante, Asanteni Sana. Asante.